This is TJ with Tech Made Easy. Welcome to the channel. My channel is all about making things affordable, practical, and easy. And today we're going to go over one simple phone app that allows you to access your PC, your server, um, while you're in your home. And it has to be at your home. It's not outside your home because you have to be on your home network to do it. Um, but it's very easy to set up. There's no app required to go on the desktop or on your server. The app only resides on your phone. Um, and as far as I know, I did also research, uh, there is an app for, for iPhone. I don't have an iPhone or any Mac stuff, so I'll, hopefully it works the same. Um, but it's very easy. And so the way this works is you just have to share, set up a share on your computer, then this, this program will access that share, and then you can copy files back and forth, whatever you want. Now, it isn't a program where when you come into your house, it'll automatically dump those pictures or files to your to your computer. There are programs that you can get that are like that. They're a little bit more complicated to set up. Uh, the next easiest one I think is KDE Connect and KDE Connect is also cross-platform between the Mac PC and Android apps um, and the iPhone. So um, I just found this app a couple of years ago and I found it just one of the easiest ways to, to copy stuff off my phone or copy stuff to my phone. Um, so go, let's go ahead, we're going to go ahead and set up uh, a share in Windows because I realize there might be some people out there that don't know how to set up a share in Windows um, and they will go ahead and copy files back and forth between a Linux desktop and a Windows desktop and actually show you also that I'm accessing my server with it as well. It's very easy, simple, let's get started. <music> Okay, so the program that you're going to need for your phone is CX File Explorer found in your Play Store or if, you're, have a, if you have an iPhone, it'll be found in your store for your iPhone. And it's going to be CX File Explorer, this one right here. And obviously I've already installed it, so just go ahead and install it and you're good to go. Okay, here we are at our Windows desktop. There's a couple things we need to do. Uh, to make this work. One, we need to create a folder that we're going to share. So we also have to go into our network settings to make sure they're set correctly. But let's just go ahead and go to settings right now. And what we're going to do here is we're first going to look at the name of our of our machine. Now I named this uh, uh, computer WHP 800. You can name it whatever you want or you can just keep the name. Windows gives us a generic name as long as you know what that name is because you're going to search for that name. Um, and you can just hit rename here and whatever you name it you hit next and you'll have to reboot Windows okay so then the next thing that we want to do and this is again this is going to be important because you're going to be looking for the name of the computer so then on when we go to networks we're going to go network and internet we're going to go to advanced network settings now uh, right now I'm on Windows 11 and Windows 10 it is the same thing but uh, you may get to it uh, a little bit differently but you need to get into your advanced network settings then once you're in your advanced network settings, you need to go to advanced sharing settings. And if you haven't tried to share anything before, um, access uh, your own server, whatever, um, these are going to be turned off here. So we just need to make sure that network discovery is turned on. If it's turned on, great. And file sharing is turned on. So we just need to make sure those two things are turned on. And then we're going to go to all networks. Now, in my particular system here, I, I don't use a password to log into my Windows. And, and then so plus two, I'm just gonna show you a quick and easy way to do this. Um, and we're just gonna be creating our own folder. That's, that folder's the only thing that's being shared. So I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn password protection off. It won't ask you for a username or password by doing that. Um, and so that's all we needed set up here. Uh, don't do anything with public networks. Uh, you don't have to turn this public sharing on or anything like that. Just, just turn that off. Uh, if you want a password, then leave it on. Um, so, uh, so what we're going to do here? We're going to close this. We're going to go to our file manager. We're going to click in documents. And it doesn't have to be in documents. This is just where I'm putting it. But I'm just going to create a folder to share, and I'm just going to call this phone files. And then, um, and you don't have to put any folders in here. Uh, it's whatever you want, but I'm just going to create called one docs. And, uh, and I'm just going to create another one called pics. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to share this folder. Okay, so we're going to right mouse click on it. We're going to go to properties. And then up here, we're going to hit sharing, which is right next to general. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit share here. And uh, we're just going to we're just going to do guest. We're going to add guest to here and we're going to do read write. Um, and again, if you don't want to do this, you can use your own username um, and password or create your, uh, create a user to access that. Um, but at any rate, we're going to give that read and write access here. Hit share. <clears throat> Done. Then we're going to go to advanced sharing because this is where we actually tell the folder that we're sharing it. Um, so we're going to click that there and you can give it whatever file name you want. I'm just leaving it uh, uh, or you can give it whatever share name you want. I'm just leaving it as phone files, the same as the directory. We're going to go to permissions here and all we need here, because we're not using a, a login, we just need this to be everyone, but we want to get full access. So we're going to apply that. Okay. Apply this. Okay. Close this. And we're done sharing. So now through our phone, we can now access that. So let's see how we do that. Okay, so the file, okay, so the program that we're using is CX File Explorer. So we're just going to click on that. And normally it might be on local here, and you can get to your, all your main storage here, which we're going to do here in a minute. But uh, the one thing that we want to do here is we want to go to networks. And as you can see here, I already have some networks in here. I have Hope NAS in here. That's my video server. By the way, this is a free NAS server. And I can go here to movies. I can go to uh, one of my Bugs movies. Anyway, I can go ahead and I can play this and it'll play the sound and everything and we'll watch it this way. Okay, so I muted the sound of that so I wouldn't get copyrighted anyway. So it's great. You can edit files in here and so on and so forth. But let's go ahead and let's go back to home here and well, let's add our Windows share that we just created in Windows. So let's hit let's hit add. Let's going to hit remote. Then we're going to hit local network. So we'll hit local network here and it's going to go ahead and search the computers. Okay, it's our WHP 900 or 800. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click on anonymous. And didn't say that right, but that's okay. So we'll click on that and there are our phone files. And we can also create a directory in here if we want. Um, we can edit in here, we can edit files in here, so on and so forth. So what we're going to do though is let's go back to our local phone, let's go to main storage, let's go to our pics, and I've got this folder here with all these pictures in it, and I'm going to go ahead and select them all, and we're going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to go back to our home folder, we're going to go back to network, and we're going to go to our Windows computer and we're going to click on pics and now we're going to paste all of those pictures in there and we're doing that all through the Wi-Fi and it looks great. So now we can go ahead. So now, okay, at my Windows desktop I'm just now hitting paste from my phone to copy those pictures over there and there they go. Amazing. I love this. I love this app. This is awesome. Okay, here I am on my Linux desktop, and right now, um, just uh, the computer name or the host is HP 800, and I've created a share file, again, same name, phone files, and here I've got pics and docs. So let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, copy some files over from my phone. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy some files over to my Linux desktop. Let's go new location again. And this time, instead of my Linux desktop, is the same name as my Windows one, with the exception without the W. So there's my HP 800, and we're going to uh, connect anonymously. Hit OK, and here are my phone files. And let's go grab those files that we grabbed before. And let's grab those pictures. Once you click on one of these, then it allows you, gives you the option to just select them all. So I'm going to select them all, and obviously this is going to be the same as it was before. And so now let's just go and let's just uh, paste our pictures in here. 
And now, one thing that I should explain here too. So also, before I created a folder, but you can also create a file here. So if I do uh, test.txt, and there's my file that I've created. So as you can see, very easy. So let's go back to my desktop. Now we can see all of those uh, pictures have been copied over to my Linux desktop. So as you can see, this, uh, this is a very easy tool to use. Now, granted, this isn't going to copy your files of your pictures every time you come in. You're not going to be able to do that kind of stuff. But if you, let's say you have a couple of files that you want to um, just copy over real quick, you can do that. Or maybe you've, you went on vacation, took a whole bunch of pictures, and now you want to select them all and copy them over. Um, it's, just a, it's just an easy tool to use. And again, there are lots of tools that give you the same result but sometimes a little harder to set up and some of those tools are more flexible like they'll automatically load download your new pictures down to your computer but if you don't have any of those tools and this meets your your needs then great it's a great great product so this is TG with Tech Made Easy I hope that was helpful have a great day thanks